Hey Americans, does eating turkey on Thanksgiving make you tired or could it just be your family members? All will be revealed. Before we talk specifically turkey, let's talk about the meal in which our feathered friends are front and center. Now, the concept of Thanksgiving is hardly unique to the United States. There's a long tradition of harvest time feasts around the world, celebrating the bounty and the harvesting of various crops before the hardships of winter set in. And the first American Thanksgiving wasn't all turkey stuffing and Puritan belt buckles. Although there are few clues to reconstruct the celebration, historians believe it would have been influenced by American Indian traditions since Puritan Puritans were kind of new to the joint and they needed instruction on how to cultivate and cook foods indigenous to that area. It's also more likely that venison and fish were the main menu items since domesticated turkeys weren't a thing yet in America, only wild turkeys. And wild turkeys are wily. They sleep perched in trees. They can sprint up to 25 miles per hour and fly at 55 miles per hour, making them much more challenging to take a hatchet to than a domesticated bird that's been selectively bred to nearly topple over. Today, the domesticated turkey is the star of the Thanksgiving show, no matter if they show up as turducken or deep fried with Cajun spices, we are talking about 675 million pounds of this stuff being eaten by Americans each year. And some people have noticed that after this monumental meal, uncles moan as they grab their stomachs in gluttonous pain and various family members drop off to sleep soon after. So could turkey be at fault here? While L-tryptophan, an amino acid which is a natural sedative, is present in turkey, the amount is too small to have an appreciable effect, particularly with all the other food lolling around in your stomach. So that lazy lethargic feeling that so many of us feel after a big meal has everything to do with carb overloading and the amount of calories consumed and very little to do with L-tryptophan, especially when you consider that according to the Calorie Control Council, the average Thanksgiving meal goer consumes 4,500 calories and 229 grams of fat. So add a little alcohol to that, a generous dose of politics and religion talk. Oh, and don't forget a dash of family dynamics and you have a solid recipe for face planting yourself into a pillow. All right, now let's all go around the table and say what we're thankful for and also what we are dreading about Thanksgiving. Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.